Hey guys, Mackie here with Battle Drill 6, and uh, I, I apologize. I have my nice camera set up, and I had everything brought out here, and like an idiot, I realized I forgot my battery for my camera. So instead, we're using the iPhone, uh, and we've got it kind of jimmy-rigged onto, uh, onto the tripod so it holds it up, because uh, I didn't want to waste this time, and I wanted to go over something. So uh, for those of you that have followed the channel, you know that we kind of took a year or so off, actually a little bit more, um, and uh, we've had some uh, kind of some personal things going on with me, which is why we did it. Now we're actually getting our range. Uh, this is actually our range. We own this, um, and we're right now bulldozing land and everything, getting it all ready. Uh, so we can actually start doing classes. But what I want to talk about today was slide stop release versus uh, racking the slide versus the overhand rack for uh, for changing out those magazines. Um, and uh, there's lots of different theories and debate on this. And so the first thing to note on this is that it's probably not enough of an issue for us to uh, to, to continue this debate truly on. Um, I know like Jaeger School of Tactical Response, they teach over the top. Uh, I know Chris Costa, Haley Strategic, they kind of teach do what the gun's intended for. There's lots of different uh, <clears throat> mentalities out there on it. Um, the pros of the slide stop release is that that slide hitting that slide release on there is a uh, significantly faster way to do it it's always going to be faster to hit that to, to rack that in and then hit the slide stop release or the slide release um uh the slide release lever sorry I'm, my terminology is mixing up um to hit that slide release lever that's um, by far going to be the fastest way. Doing an overhand rack is always going to be a little bit slower. Doing an overhand rack is probably slightly more reliable in that we get that quickly, we're back on, and uh, we always guarantee that it's the same thing, the muscle memory goes the same way every time we do a, uh, a magazine change, malfunction, whatever it is. Um, and so we get the gun back into the fight uh, using the same techniques every time. One of the things that I tend to find myself doing is hitting it, hitting the slide release uh, just instinctively when I reload that magazine. And so what I've realized after years of doing this is that probably there's some merit to both methods, to both methods. And uh, <clears throat> so we're going to kind of go over some of the, some of this uh, um, here in just a second with uh, uh, some shooting, and we're going to show you exactly what this looks like uh, with both methods so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see there what happened is as I dropped this nasty magazine and it got dirtier and dirtier hitting this pit of crud I'm standing in, um, the uh, the slide stop actually wasn't uh, wasn't getting locked back as it was getting dirt up in there. I'm going to have to clean my gun uh, pretty well when I get home. Um, but uh, anyways, so um, but we were able to recover for that. So even though some of those I had planned on hitting the slide release, I was actually able to recover for that uh, just fine by doing that, that slide rack. And so you just treat it like any other malfunction and uh, and rack that slide and move on uh, probably um, what I should have done is do a tap rack drill but uh, that's a different discussion <clears throat> so uh, we can see that, that that's kind of how that worked out so again you can see you can see there's not a huge time difference between the two And, uh, and, and even though there is some time difference, um, which you know the argument is is that when, a, when you're in a gunfight that split second matters and you're absolutely right, that split second does matter, but so does having a reliable platform to do this on. Where you might find racking the slide is better is smaller pistols like this, where you have that little itty bitty slide release, although the Glock 26 is still enough to get a good meat on there and actually hit it. Um, but uh, the other ones is if you're left handed, um, where you're actually, um, you, you, most guns, or a lot of guns are, are still are not built well for having a slide release on the left side. You have to remove your grip too much to do it. You might just find that it's quicker to, to bring it up and actually do a, a slide release uh, using a, a rack in the slide. Uh, okay guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope uh, this kind of gives y'all some, 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 a little bit of help and some information on this and kind of how we're starting to do things now and how we're going to be transitioning to do things as we get our range here open up and actually start opening up the classes again. Um, I was going to show you, like I said, but uh, my screwed up with my camera, uh, but I was going to show you all kind of the progress we're making on the range. Uh, we got our first pistol range going right here. Got a roadway coming in this way for it. Um, we're going to have actually about a hundred meter range here to do pistol and rifle with. Um, and so it should be a good time. Should be a, uh, have a lot of one day classes coming in, uh, one and two day classes coming in specifically to this area. Um, and then 
we'll start. We got a bunch more land here to work with, so we can start developing from there and seeing uh, seeing where we want to go. So again, guys, I'm Mackie with Battle Drill Six, um, and I know some of you have been following the channel for a long time, um, and then others you might be new to it and you wonder why we have that big break in our videos. That's why, um, and so we're going to be having lots of content coming out, lots of new fresh stuff, lots of new training ideas. Uh, my wife and I are going to a lot of different courses. I've got like a six-week training course I'm going to be going to hopefully next year, and uh, so we've got a lot of good information coming out that we're going to be adding to the channel, um, and we'll, 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 so we'll be sharing a lot of that information with you. Like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already done so. Remember, freedom comes in all calibers.